Hello, my name is Alex Kessler, and I am with Jamora Products. Today, we are going to talk about the Oracle AGT1 Plus, an electronic gold and platinum tester. When you receive your tester, depending on the production lot, there may be a blue plastic film on the testing plate. You will need to remove this before operating your tester. The AGT1 Plus includes a detailed instruction manual, a carrying case, a saline solution-based pin probe, a jeweler's file, an AC adapter, and a 9-volt battery. On the side of your unit, you will see a switch that allows you to select various power options, battery power or AC adapter power. When using the tester in AC mode, plug the adapter directly into the top of the tester. Then switch on the AC power option. From here, the LED bar graph will light up. When using the tester in battery power mode, you will insert the 9 volt battery into the back of the tester by simply removing the back battery door. Please be aware, the LEDs on the LED bar graph are fragile. When inserting the battery, do not lay the tester on a surface that can damage the LEDs. Once you have selected your power source, the tester will indicate that it is ready. From here, you can plug in the pin probe. The pin probe is overfilled to give the user the maximum number of uses. Once plugged in, you can remove the pin probe's cap. Please note, the pin probe is filled with a saline-based solution that is safe to the touch. Prior to using the pin probe, wipe the probe off on a piece of paper towel to absorb the excess liquid, leaving the tip with a consistency similar to a felt tip marker. The first step in calibrating the tester is to charge the pin probe. This can be done by holding the pin probe down on the tester's testing plate and removing it three times. After charging the pin probe, wipe off the residue from the testing plate to avoid potential staining. At this point, you can disregard the tester's readings. Once you calibrate your unit, the readings will match the carat of gold. Always calibrate your tester with a dedicated clean piece of non-plated 14 karat yellow gold. Before calibrating, you must file your calibration piece to remove any potential gold plating or oxidation. Remember to always file your gold away from the tester to avoid gold particles from contaminating the testing plate. And be sure to wipe your gold off after filing. Place the calibration piece on the testing plate. Push the cal button, and once the calibrated button begins to flash, immediately push the pin probe down perpendicular on the piece of gold till the reading shows 14K. The 14 karat reading must be in the center of the 14 karat range. If when calibrating the tester, anything other than the center LED in the 14 karat range lights up, please repeat the process until it is achieved. We recommend retesting the 14 karat yellow gold calibration piece after calibration. And as you can see, the machine remained calibrated perfectly. Now you can test other pieces of gold. But remember, in order to receive accurate readings, file the gold surface before testing. For example, white gold is typically plated with rhodium to brighten its look, while yellow gold is commonly plated with a higher carat gold to give it a richer look. Because the AGT1 Plus is a surface tester, and since the jewelry may be plated, before performing a test, it is critical that you first file the metal to get through the surface layer. Please note, if you are testing gold with mounted stones, just ensure that the gold is fully touching the testing plate when testing. The pen probe must be pressed down on the area you filed. For best results when testing, keep watching. For the most precise testing results, we recommend keeping your 14 karat yellow gold calibration piece on the testing plate and periodically testing it to confirm the calibration has remained in the center of the 14 karat range. If the calibration has shifted slightly due to the pin pro being exposed to various contaminants, please repeat the calibration process to lock the calibration back into place in the center of the 14 karat range. When the unit is initially turned on, or at any time when using the tester, the red LED labeled Recalibrate slash Replace Probe may light up. This typically means that the tester is in need of calibration. Once calibrated, the red LED will turn off. 
If it doesn't, your pen may be defective if new, spent if used, or has become contaminated and will need to be replaced. We recommend wiping the pen probe's felt tip on a clean paper towel after multiple uses to remove gold particles and surface contamination. Please note that the felt tip will naturally darken with use and this will not affect the test. When the pin probe is not in use, make sure to firmly snap the cap back on to prevent the pin from drying out. For best results when testing 22 karat and 24 karat gold, always start the process by immediately cleaning the pin probe's felt tip on a piece of paper towel and performing a fresh calibration. Please note that if you do not first file a piece of tungsten or stainless steel before testing, the AGT1 Plus will incorrectly identify it as platinum. After being filed, the tester will correctly identify it as NA or not gold. After repeated use, always file and periodically clean your 14 karat yellow gold calibration piece to remove any dirt, oxidation, contaminants, and saline solution buildup. Jamoro offers a small and large size guaranteed plum 14 karat yellow gold calibration disc that is ideal for calibrating your AGT1+. It is flat and lays comfortably on the testing plate for easy access. Please contact your Jamoro dealer for details. The AGT1 Plus features a one-year limited warranty against defects, and the pin probe has a 30-day limited warranty. Any of our Jamoro dealers would be happy to offer their assistance with your purchasing needs. However, if you have a technical question or require support, please contact Jamoro directly. Thank you for watching.